this is the time when we normally get a helicopter and wind or wind or rain or something like that. Welcome back everyone, you know I am. Stu's on camera today, Nick's at work, unlucky Nick. Um, we're here, well, last time we had some great success finding out how fast you can go on a budget. Turned out everyone wants to know how fast you can go on a budget. It was a Ford Fiesta, uh, Duratec, and the guy built it on his own in his garage. We've got another one of those this week. We've got a Honda Civic VTI, B18 turbo with a T4 on it. The guy's built it all himself on a budget. It's an eBay car. Let's see how fast you can go for next to nothing. Sorry, anyway, this is Jim. We just had to restart that a little bit because my phone was ringing, so sorry about that. I apologize to you for the editing. Anyway, so um, <laughs> this is Jim. Jim has built his car on his own in a garage as cheap as possible. Do you want extra noise? Because we can provide it. Well, you've got cars, helicopters, there's always something. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, so he's built it on his own in a garage. So you were saying, we went, went over it, so you bought the car on eBay. Yep, yeah. 1,700 quid, won it, last bid. Uh, the geezer messaged me straight away and said, oh, come pick up, because you know what eBay's like. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. A lot of messages. Pick up yesterday. So I was like, it, this was Thursday evening, I picked it up uh, Saturday morning, yeah. straight away. And after, so at that point, was that when you thought, like, this isn't staying standard, I'm, it's going to be turboed within, like, as soon as you can do it? The minute I won it, I said to the missus, you know, I've, I've just spent 1,700 quiz, don't expect for it to stop there. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously we are here where we are today. Yeah. And so you obviously you started, one, a fact you told me earlier, this is how quick, if you really give, if you really want it, so from when you bought it to yep. as it is now, five yep. months. Five months, yeah. And I can't have a Honda and not modify it straight away. No, no. And, you know, some people take years to turbo a car. Yeah, yeah. Like I say, the, the parts I use are very cheap anyway, so I thought, you know, while well, I've got it, I'm going to spend out all that on it and uh, yeah. One question I haven't asked yet, which I've been so interested to know is, <clears throat> roughly what do you think it's cost you, including the cost of the car, as it sits there right now, in total? As it sits in total, probably about three and a half grand. Three and a half grand. With that's the car. That's including the cost yeah. of the car. Yeah. You can get 320 horsepower, from nothing to 300 and, and it's a good sleeper car yeah and it yeah. ain't slow is it let's no, face it slow, like, no. it ain't slow it's a lively <laughs> no. car for three and a half grand like that that is where it's at you just got to know what you're looking for and know what bits to buy yeah definitely. Well, have you got a quick rundown of like the parts what's what what in total like so what fuel pump you got in there uh i've got a Walbro 255 yeah pump um i've got that for 20 quid <laughs> 20 quid <laughs> and the exhaust manifold you said earlier uh exhaust manifold uh it's just a cast manifold it was 40 pound delivered <laughs> right so uh, that's fuel and exhaust the bonnet and have that's a look at the cheap stuff. yeah let's have a look right, at the so bonnet. 60 quid so far <laughs> <laughs> fuel and exhaust 60 quid <laughs> three and a half grand though that's where the magic happens that's that's business. Business. love it so love yeah it. so we've got uh, cast manifold, which was 40 quid. Yeah. Uh, the wastegate is, uh, I think it's a 52 mil. Or I think I'm right on that. Uh, that was 55 pound posted. Right, so we're up to 110 quid now. <laughs> uh, turbo was 80, 82, 84 pound posted. And that was new? <laughs> yeah, that was brand new as well. Um, the intercooler was an eBay kit as well. That was about 90 pounds with all the fixings and that. So it takes a bit of chopping, and as long as you're yeah, willing to put the time in, like that's that's where the that's where the money is, isn't yeah. it? Um, it's running a P28 uh, chipped ECU. Uh, the ECU cost me, I think it's about 110 pounds, <laughs> maybe. Uh, could be cheaper, I can't remember. But the chip itself was 10 pounds. <laughs> so good. for the for my tuner to tune that, obviously you just needed that 10 pound chip. So obviously that goes into the ECU. Yeah. And then obviously I went and saw him, which was only 200 quid as well to map that. So basically I tuned the car 
with the ECU for three hundred pound. That is insane. <laughs> that is so insane. Yep. So you've got an after. There's an aftermarket map sensor on there. Like you yep. said, you've got Evo injectors with the resistors yep. wired in, um, and the screamer pipe just comes out, points straight to the floor. Yep. Um, apart from that, you got you, you put another radiator in there, but it's the same size as the one um, that was in there, is it? This this is standard rad. This is what the all the Hondas come with standard yep. rad, but I put a smaller fan on it. Right. Okay. Um, I think that's a twelve volt fan because obviously the one was bigger and yeah. I couldn't get the downpipe on it. it. It does take up a lot of room. Um, and you had you said about the exhaust, you had to have the exhaust is probably the most the, the biggest investment you've had to have. Yeah, it was close to a thousand pounds for the exhaust. Was it? Yeah I'll be honest. Yeah because yeah. um it didn't go well so I had to take it off and put it back on so and obviously that cost more money. Yeah. Um the downpipe alone cost four hundred pounds to run that and it's a three inch enough. straight through um, that's three three inch all the way to the centre yeah. and then it goes into two and a half all the way out to the back yeah, and yeah, one yeah. silencer. So I mean aside from that, I mean that's only something that a specialist is gonna be able to do as well, isn't yeah. it? With you know, with exhaust fabrication you can't just I mean you can just build it yourself, but it's yeah. done once and it's done right and you ain't got to worry yeah, about I it was, again. I had one of these before and I run it out the side. So yeah. it, just, it cost me nothing because I just basically just put it straight out the side. But it was very loud. Yeah. And obviously I just wanted something quiet, it's a sleeper. I didn't yeah. want it loud. I just went for that and um, yeah, it's, it's perfect. No one would expect it either, would you? You wouldn't expect it if it come past you on the motorway or no. someone was flashing you to move out of the way. The thing is, you look at it like... It's just it a factory just car. <laughs> factory wheels. Yeah. And the interior the is all... All factory as well, yep. which is great. I was saying about the brakes. So you did the brakes the other day. It's got new discs and pads on it all yep. round. New discs and pads, M Tech uh, discs all round. I think they're about 105 pounds uh, for the four. Um, and Brembo pads. <laughs> I've got went on Euro Car Parts and got them with their discount. Yeah. Uh, 53 quid for the lot. For the lot. <laughs> as you just said, you said you had a look inside. Yeah. It's Apart just from the got, steering wheel and a couple of gauges. Yeah, it's got a steering wheel, AFR gauge. I yep. presume you've got a boost gauge in there. Uh, yeah, boost gauge. Yeah, just keeping it subtle in there and. You know. And you could take the kids to school in it. Yep. This is it. And he's got Ragen. he's got a four or three of them. Yeah, yeah, we won't mention the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's tires? why it's all on a budget. We yeah, were, exactly. We were talking about the tyres earlier. You said like, you know, it's got a, it's got a factory LSD in the gearbox, but yeah. you've got to use you're using the best of your budget for, for tyres, but even yeah. they work pretty well from what you were saying. Uh yeah, uh TR1 proxies, not many people rate them, but I've run them on all my cars and I don't see a problem with them. Yeah. They're cheap enough. They was forty pound a, a tire as well, so eighty pound for two tires. That's mad, you, isn't you it? Can't go wrong. Have a look at the spoilers. Get your eyeballs around that. Yeah. So this <laughs> this is an EJ spoiler. Um, if you know your Civics, uh, it doesn't fit actually like a um, a glove. Yeah. <laughs> so if you look under it, it's actually my original spoiler, which right. is on here. And all we've done is just bolted this one through the original spoiler right, into the right. original holes, and obviously it. it it works a treat. You said that was a bit of a rare bit. Of kit yeah, as well. uh, I'd lucky to get hold of that. Um, I've been searching one for a long time. Um, I actually put a post up, and uh, someone said they had one for three hundred pounds. Yeah, uh, and I was going to pay it, but obviously a chap about this one, and it was silver, uh, said to me, "You know, I've got one, uh, but it's in Liverpool." Right. So I said, "Okay," and this was back in April, and I said, "All right, I'll try and come and get it." Didn't have time. So and then my mate actually went up there two weeks ago, and I said, "You know, I, I thought." He's going up there, see if he's still got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, blow me, he's still had it. And I messaged him and uh, I got it for 140 quid. Nice. And nice. I put it on at the weekend. I've never seen another one on there. No. And it's on, it's on uh, coilovers on the rear, springs on the front. You eBay see? again, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's on Pro Sports on the, on the back. Uh, they was they was £187 for the four. <laughs> I'm only running the rears. <laughs> and I've got, uh, I think, like HR springs on the front. As you know about the TT, budget suspension isn't always rubbish. That's the truth, isn't it? Like we've got it on the TT, we've got it on your golf, and it works. I suppose it works alright on this. Yeah. Well. How long so, they work for? Is it's a different question. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, uh, I've got uh, eBay rear control arms as well. They're red as well. Right, yeah. The car because the other ones were the bushes were gone. Yeah. And uh, when we tried to undo them, the nuts were rounded, so yeah. they literally had to be all cut. Yeah. And, uh, I yeah. picked them up for seventy quid for the arms. Seventy. Well, so yeah. yeah. It sounds like. It's, so total was three and a half grand. Yeah. yeah. Including Going fast car. with a Honda hasn't got to break the bank. No. You know, and that's it. That's like real high performance stuff. What does it weigh? Do you know? What do they weigh? Uh, they're, over, they're over a ton, but not by a lot. No, no, no. They're not. They're not. They, they are a light car. Yeah, uh, front of state are. as yeah. well. It's the old cheap Japanese or whatever metal, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that. I suppose right. the only thing is now to go for a little buzz around the block. Yes. Don't you reckon? Yes. Ready, sir?
Yeah, mate. Here we go. No harnesses, just a lovely little yeah. seat belt. Thank you very much. Nice and comfortable. Full on eBay built car. But then for three and a half grand, like, what else are you going to buy that's 320 horsepower? Reliable horsepower for three and a half grand. You I can't. mean, you can't, not nowadays at least. There's nothing you could buy that's that power for that money. I suppose that's another question. Like, how many issues have you had proportional to how much it's cost you? Like, because you've cut corners, is it, um, is it, is it cost you a, a lot of time in stuff breaking because of how, like, um, well, you could have put something more expensive in there or? No, it's not so much like the cost, it's just trying to find out what actually went wrong. Right. Um, obviously, I I know these engines, but I don't know them as good as what my friends do. Yeah, Especially yeah. Uh, Jamie, who put all the turbo kit on. He's he's actually got one of these himself. Yeah. Um, so he knows his stuff. So obviously, if something goes wrong, I, I tend to ask him, and he'll come round and and try and diagnose Give a problem. Hand, yeah. But you know, some like the other week we had a problem, and uh, we was all scratching our heads because we didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Um, but in the end, he rebuilt the dizzy for me. Yeah. And it's been fine. It's cool that that, I love times like that. I don't know if you feel, that, that, for those of you who are watching this, go and watch a film with Eric Banner in called Love the Beast. Go and watch that. But anyway, that's, that's the whole thing's based around, if you stick it up there. Um, the whole thing's based around guys that built this car that he used to do a lot of road racing in, and it's just them in their garage building it. And that's part, yeah. that was half the fun of doing the whole thing, you know? Yeah. It's just basically a car. This car has, has, has been a, like a group of friends on a budget, that just come together, help build this. And I've got a, like I say, a, a 320 horsepower car. For next, next to nothing. Money. That's yeah. mad, isn't it? I mean, you people have spent three and a half grand on just a turbo kit yeah. for some yeah, stuff yeah, for yeah. a car that you've already got, you know? Let, I mean, to put it in relative perspective, like it's more powerful than a factory Golf R. Yeah. I think that's about, or even a stage one. I don't know what sort of power they are. I haven't ever gone up with anything yet, uh, but it'd be nice to go up against things to see what it does. But even that aside, that's 320 horsepower. You'd, you'd need to spend four times this to, to buy a Golf R. So, yeah. comes a boost as well. Yeah. It doesn't look like it should be going that fast. So from buying it to now, five months. Yes. Fair play to you, mate. Yeah, it's been um, it's been it's been expensive at times, but because obviously I bought things at once. Yeah. But obviously, when you spread the cost over, it's it's, it's nothing. No, exactly. And it, especially if you like, like you say, buying a cast manifold. If you buy a tubular one, they crack and they go yeah. wrong and all the rest of it, but buying a cast one you're not gonna have another issue with it and that's no. it and everything works so you were saying earlier about like little things that have gone wrong have you had any major issues like you said the distributor come apart um, <laughs> yeah the distributor failed and it for somehow it, it the cam belt slid off right and it jumped the timing yeah I thought I blew it up if I'm honest but yeah. obviously once I spoke to my mates, they'd come and had a look at it, and uh, obviously it's a non-contact engine. Yeah, yeah. So I was lucky it didn't do any damage. Are all so, the V-Series engines like that? Yes. There you go. Um, Every day's at school day, I didn't know that. So all we done is literally retime the engine to the side of the road. The cam belt was all flappy. Yeah, yeah. Um, got it home, ordered a, a cam belt kit and water pump off uh, Jack Service Parts, yeah. and uh, come the next day, had them fitted, uh, and it's it's back on the road straight it's straight fine. away it's fine yeah that what was that a couple of weeks ago you said yeah a couple of weeks ago yeah Sound like it's gonna make that sort of racket. 
I can see you fine with the steering a little bit, so you yeah. get a bit of torque steer with it. Yeah, you do, yeah. It's, it's, it, I think because it's so light on the front as well. Yeah. And obviously with the LSD, it does it does help, but it's it's trying to it's trying to skip. Yeah. And you feel it on the wheel. I could hear it in the engine tone. Yeah. It's trying to, it's like, it's like you're saying, skipping. And like, yeah. It's trying to put the, the, the tyre down. But you've not got a problem with the, the tyres. It seems to be working really well, to be fair. Brilliant, yeah. For, for how much they were as well, yeah, what yeah, they do. Quid a piece. You can't go wrong. But for what the car is, and obviously you, you don't expect to see something like this no, go that's the way the thing, it does. isn't it? And it's not, you know, you wouldn't absolutely wouldn't expect it. All of the modern stuff, like that TT, for example, you'd expect that to be quite a quick car because they're all 300 horsepower and yeah. it's a 30 grand vehicle, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I just like the fact is that this is an eBay built car. You get cars like this gold bars of, of 20, 30,000 pounds. Yeah. And they'd be behind me. Yeah, so exactly. For how much I've spent, for how much they've spent. And it revs to the moon as well. It yeah. didn't sound like it was going to stop. Yeah. That's just a second. <laughs> <laughs> it, the part of the entertainment is it doesn't feel like it should be going that quick. I think that's yeah. partly why it's so fun. Would you build a, like, what, what are your. Uh, that's quality. What are your um what's the next thing you're gonna do with it? I mean have you got any plans for it going forward? I will forge it. Um right. but again it will be eBay spec built yeah. forged parts. Like so max speeding rods yes. or something. So it won't be out of like you know these seven, eight hundred pound parts, it'd be as cheap as possible. Because I know they work. Yeah, exactly. For, for yeah. how much you're gonna gonna pay for them and the power you get. Have you got to put rods and pistons in, or are they quite strong? Just the rods or just the pistons? Um, I'm not sure, but I think if you if you build the bottom end, you can you can still run over 400 horsepower. But if you want to run any more, you've got to build the top. Right, right, right. <laughs> He wants to play. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wicked. There's a lot of rev range as well. Yeah, just... right up to like nine. Yeah. Is it is nine thousand about where they're supposed to rev? I to? think they're like eight six. Right. Okay. But obviously, you can le have that bit of leeway. Obviously, yeah, boost yeah. as well. But it's still perfectly manageable, isn't it? Yeah, it's right. It's even even when like you, you're cruising with how quiet it is. Yeah. You wouldn't think it's boosted. Like, and you can have a stereo and stuff in here and yeah. still drive it like normal. But the stereo is actually in the glove box because obviously I, I needed the, the AFR gauge. Oh, the stereo gauge. works still, Yeah, it? the stereo oh, works. Well yeah. done. Fair play to you. And obviously if you've got cars behind you and, and from behind, they'd think like it's just a standard. Granddad input, Civic, input, yeah. Crap Civic. as well you must get out of your Zafira at the end of the day I think oh, I might turn the Honda out for a little bit I love it. tear it up the thing is when when the missus says oh I need something from the shop or nappies or something like that it gives me an excuse, excuse to, go, and take to the Honda go out, out. yeah you've been out 45 minutes to go and get yeah. nappies <laughs> and that's exactly what she says because I'm, I'm going up and down the bypasses yeah, yeah. having something that's a bit of fun that's not too this is the sort of fun I have in my golf because yeah. I just put the key in it and I'll go and have fun in it I don't yeah. have to like check stuff's not hanging off of it and you know like some really really highly tuned stuff is always got something breaking every five minutes yeah. you know and you obviously don't get that issue you drove down here today you don't have to trailer it no, down or anything nothing. 
and it's nice to, to point out that you don't have to spend a lot of money on parts to have a decent thing. amount of power. Yeah, that is the key thing. And there's probably still some left on the table. Like you could probably squeeze another 20 or 30 horsepower out of it if you wanted you, to risk it. You think I'm running a, a I'm running a cast manifold, which if you had a tubular manifold, you, it'd be more flight. Yeah. I'm running I'm running a standard inlet manifold. If yeah. that was changed as well, then obviously that is more horsepower. Straight away. It's so, the same boost level. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's how fast you can go for next to all oh, money. Um, but it's a, it's a sleeper at the end of the day, and we're all about. As you've seen, if you haven't seen the rest of our stuff, go and watch our other videos. We've got loads of stuff like this. But that's how fast you can go for next to nothing. That's how much fun a guy can have in his car when him and a couple of mates get together and do all the stuff themselves. You don't need to send your car to some tuning company and spend tens of thousands of pounds. You can if you've got the money for that. But if you want to do it, it's there to be done just do your homework. So that's it. If you like what you saw today, we've got loads more stuff coming up. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell where you can. That is your lot. Ten toes down and we're out with the gang.